Hello my friends and welcome to 12 Universe. So this time I'm gonna show you how to install the custom hearts. It doesn't matter which heart, the method is always the same. I have chosen three of them. This one is the Aviator. Then we have, uh, what's this one? Albatross heart and then we also have um, Arch heart or Archieco for um, full name. I've been using this Arch heart mostly. But anyway, first of all, you're gonna just Google for whatever you want the heart. You're gonna just find it on Google. Most of them use GitHub. I absolutely hate this website. Because it's like, where is the download button? Like, where do you... This, this is just go to file? What? No, that's not the one. I can never find the freaking download in the GitHub. So I literally had to Google to find the releases. I know you can download the entire zip file, but uh, anyway, whatever. You just need to find the horrible downloading where you can get it from, and then you can download it from here. Not the source code, we want the archheart.zip. So just download it, and wherever your downloads go, then uh, open the zip file. This is what we have in here. So I'm gonna just check what exactly did um, this archheart have in it. Yeah, see, it's. Um, Okay, it's this one, I believe, archhot.zip, so yeah, it's in the source, so yeah, that's that's what we wanted, but, uh, okay, anyway, uh, apart from this confusing part, once you get your zip file, then all the files will go into the same uh, location, which should be uh, mentioned somewhere, let's check the albatross, I believe, um, it's in here, it goes into your, um, this folder in here, I can't tell you the exact location because this is only on Steam where your game in is installed if you're playing through the Steam. Uh, for NQ's game client, uh, program data, okay, mine is not where this, this is. I'm gonna show you where mine is. So this is the location for um, my uh, autoconfig custom. Here you can see, uh, that's the Battle Universe Game Data Lua Autoconf custom. So all the scripts will go in here. As you can see, I already have the albatross and the arch heart. So you open the zip file and you drop everything from that zip file to here. So uh, I might actually update it. Nah, never mind. So whatever heart you want, you copy everything from the downloaded zip file into this folder in here, which is uh, what you see in here. 12 universe. Um, I'm going to move it a little bit. 12 universe game data, la 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 la. But like I said, I don't want to show you the exact location because it's different. Uh, as you can see in here, it says it's in program data, but mine is not in the program data. Mine is in the game installation folder. I chose this installation path when I uh, set the game up and this is where my um, config folder is. And if, if you're using some kind of a streaming service, then I have absolutely no idea where you put the files in. I think those streaming services, they have some kind of, a, you know, um, maybe they have some kind of program data. I don't know how they work. I never used one. I only use my own PC. I don't use any remote services, so no clue how it works. I believe the Arch Hard even says that it doesn't work with a G4 streaming service or something like this. The Mini Hard, maybe it works, but the other one doesn't, I believe. So anyway, no clue how that uh, streaming service stuff works. If there is some kind of user folder, then that's where you put them. And it's the same with all the other hearts. You just copy the whatever you need, extract the files into your um, custom uh, config, and that's all you need to do from your side. Then rest is done in the game, which I'm going to show you, obviously. All right, so once in the game, then you definitely need a data bank. You need to put it somewhere on your ship mine is here and you do need to link it to your uh, control seat control seat or cockpit or whatever you're using as you can see you just link it uh, like this to the seat and once that's done then you right click your control unit the control unit is whatever controls your ship so don't get me wrong it's not a seat it's not a cockpit it's whatever controls your seat uh, at the seat <laughs> freaking uh, vehicle okay so you right click on it, then we go into advanced, run custom uh, auto configure, and then you choose whichever hard you want. Uh, I did update the arch hard actually. I don't know if I need to, uh, I don't know why I have two of them now, two minified. I'm not sure uh, what's up with that. 
Oh, sorry. So <laughs> one is uh, version 2 and the other one is this one. I don't know why they both say mini fight. I'm not gonna touch anything, but that's how you do it. You right click and then you go in here and then you click whichever heart you want. And there are also some uh, things you need to read about the heart. Some of them have some uh, extensive, you know, features. But I have already done that. And once you do that, then that's how the heart looks like. You have it uh, enabled. That's the arch heart for me. I have already enabled it. I'm going to actually go and enable it on my uh, other ship. Because I don't want to stick one. Alright, let's do it on my uh, Black Icarus. Let's uh, reapply the... Um, whoops, excuse me. The arch heart... Uh, uh, is it why is it mini fight? That's that's what gets uh, gets me a little bit confused. Yeah, it's all here. Uh, that's why I didn't want to do it. But this is where you edit the um, Lua stuff in there. Let's just check if it's here. Load that um, saved variables. It's all fine. Yeah, the data bank actually saves all the variables for you. So like including the hot color and stuff. And one of the most important things I need to show you this. So that's very important. If we go into the... Um, uh, whoops, excuse me, edit Lua parameters. Uh, we're gonna use these settings. In here I want keyboard. This is for the um, arch heart. Uh, these we don't touch, which we want the bright heart. Uh, whatever you want in here, just read through it. But one thing I need to show you is very important. Here we can change the color of the heart. You can uh, remove a color. For example, this we can put uh, zero. This is like this dark purple I had. Uh, we can change the position where you want to put it. If you want to reposition the heart. As you can see there is a dead zone. That's if you use the mouse controls like the virtual joystick. Which is pretty cool. But one of the most important things I uh, wanted to show you is um, heart tick rate. If you have it too high, then the heart is going to lag like a bag. So we need to reduce this a lot. Let's put it um, one. And it's different for every heart. I'm going to uh, show you that. But the heart tick rate, uh, it says it's default, but I don't know what it actually means. But the tick rate, I believe the higher it is, the faster it updates. So we need to put it lower. I think that's what I had. Let's Let's just try it. Let's get in here. Let's see. A uh, little bit of frame drop. And yeah, it's pretty much fine as it was. So it doesn't uh, cause much frame drops. And if we uh, get up the air, then it updates pretty fine. Let's land again. I think it's fine. I'm going to check on the other ship what I had. Uh, yep, that's what I had. I believe I tested it and uh, this value is pretty good. You can lower it a little bit more maybe, but if the heart, you know, uh, doesn't update properly, then you need to increase it a little bit. And I believe that ship uses uh, Albatross heart, so let me um, just check real quick what it uses. If it doesn't, I'm going to put uh, Albatross on it, so uh, let's just check. Ah, uh, oh, mate, let's just get into it, whatever. No, it's still the arch heart. I'm going to show you the albatross too. I'm going to actually go onto the seat. Run the albatross heart. And then we can do the same thing. Edit the um, lua. That's the heart color. That's different. As you can see, the um, albatross is completely different. But it does have... Um, where the bloody hell is that? There. Uh, draw FPS, which is pretty easy to understand. That means uh, frames per second, and that you can reduce to like one. You don't, you really don't need more. Let's let's put two. I think two is more than enough. Uh, unfortunately, Arbatros doesn't have that much, you know, um, options to uh, mess around with. That's why I kind of like the um, other one more. But if we go into it, then uh, that's the Albatross heart. Also, I don't like it at the bottom of the screen, which I absolutely hate. But otherwise, it's really nice and clean. I do like it. And yeah, if you can see the values, like if I uh, take off, then it updates, you know, quite fast. And that's all you need. It doesn't have to be instant. There is no uh, point for it to be instant. And for example, if I'm going to change that, I don't think you can see my frame rate, but I can tell you. 
it was um, something around 45 right now and if we change this one and if we change that to like 20 like it was by default then I think it's gonna kill my frame rate a little bit yep now it's like 35 yep that that's like a huge you know uh, frame rate drop because the the heart like has its own you know um, uh, whatever you call it it's it needs uh, more power to throw that heart so lower frame rate or tick rate or whatever you have in the heart I haven't even tried the aviator heart I don't know if it has it I hope it does so if it lacks like if you're looking normally and you have like 50 frames per second and if you get in the ship and then you're gonna have a huge you know drop from the heart then just drop the you know the frame rate and you're good to go well, I hope you found it useful. There are also other uh, things you can play around with in the Arch Heart. For example, the brake toggle. You can uh, enable it or disable it. This just means you can toggle the brakes on and off if you want. You don't have to hold it. Bright Heart, that means it constantly keeps it on a bright mode. Well, you can read. There is a lot of uh, options. That's why Arch Heart is one of the, you know, most popular ones. It has a lot of, you know, stuff to play around with. It also has a very useful function, Abandoned Radar. You can see what it says it shows you the abandoned structures like uh, constructs not uh, just you know buildings it shows you the ships and uh, static ones if it's abandoned or not which is pretty useful I have found a lot of you know cool stuff you know like that abandoned cool stuff and you can play around with all the other values whatever you want in here there is lots of stuff for supersonic ships you need to adjust this in here Atmos speed limit uh, default is like this so you need to make sure it's higher if you want to you know fly higher if your ship can take the you know the atmospheric burn like uh, some of my ships they are designed for you know uh, atmospheric burn so you need to increase this probably this speed will kill it so I will go a little bit lower but uh, you get the idea then we can also adjust the target hover height uh, 50 is only with the talents normally it's 30 but if you put it any higher then it obviously doesn't go higher that's fine it's the default one for example I found it very useful for my uh, small builds I'll show you in a second it's uh, better to have smaller ones uh, warm-up time that's very you know important it's uh, necessary for calculations so if you're using some of the engines that have a lower warm-up time then you can adjust this in here which is gonna you know make your ship fly faster if you're using the autopilot and stuff like that so um, everything else in here is pretty much self-explanatory uh, if you read through it but they definitely have a tutorial somewhere and this is basically not something I even want to cover in this video I just wanted to show you how to set up the hearts and the must-have stuff and I'm going to show you real quick why the hover height is very important. For example, on my uh, kit build in here, I don't want it to like fly into the sky when I go into it. So when I take off, it's only 3 meters by default. And then um, you can increase it or decrease it with whatever buttons you have uh, mapped. These are not the hot buttons. These are the buttons you have actually in your controls that controls the um, up and down. And also the arch heart has really good landing function, which you have already seen. You just press uh, one button, even if you're like higher up like this. You press the landing button and it's gonna auto land. However, do not press this button if you're outside the hover uh, zone. If you're like flying really high up, I have seen a lot of players do that mistake. They think that the landing button is some magic button that automatically is gonna land your ship. No, 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 that is not what it does. And also the Albatross heart, it also has the automatic landing and it's the same thing. Do not press it if you're somewhere high up, like just flying and you want to land. You actually need to com uh, come closer to the ground. Let's say 100 meters maximum, I would say. Maybe 200. 200 would work, I guess, but I would not do it any higher. Because uh, the hovers, they're gonna kick in only when you're, you know, 50 meters from the ground. And that's definitely not enough to stop the ship. So if you hit the uh, landing button, then it's just gonna stop all the movement and just gonna drop your ship straight down. And only at the hover height, it's gonna start going slowly down. And also if you're landing in the water, then it's the same thing that in the water, you can use the landing button 
because under water the hovers will always work. Like if you're far under the water, then the, um, then the hover engines are still working. So there you can use the auto landing. But anyway, this is how you set up all the custom hearts, whatever you want to set up. The setup is always the same. Put the files in the custom folder, in your custom auto config folder. And then simply go in the game, right click your uh, seating, select the heart and there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.